So getting some jobs done on it's a lovely day, the temperature is quite nice. So today these ones I'm pulling are purple chief and the red ones are organic chieftain. Both have a lovely white flesh inside. I'll come back for these ones as they die back a bit more. This is all that uh, remains of my potatoes, though I've harvested an awful lot. And a wee bit more harvested today. And on to the Egyptian walking onions that I pulled the other day. I just want to store them in a mesh bag. I started breaking them up and then gave up and just sort of threw the whole heads in together. As I cook, I can break them apart. Getting some of the dried herbs sorted out. Well, I gave that jumble a uh, sorting through. So what I'm left with is some thyme, sage. This is sage that I won't break down. I just use that for decorative cooking. And um, rosemary. And then I've got some fresh herbs that I have to either throw on the basket or tie up. So what I do with the sage is but the only one. I throw it in here and use the hand blender once I've uh, taken the stems off. Thyme, I'm just going to strip all the thyme. I leave it as is, put it in the container, and I'll crush with my hands as I cook with it. This I usually just put in a vase and uh, throw it on foods, again, as I said, just to be decorative. Uh, well, roasting vegetables, things like that. It looks pretty, and it still comes out with purple. And the rosemary, I also will leave that. I'll strip it and um, leave it whole and, again, crush it just before roasting vegetables or whatever I might use it for. We'll finish now with those, so that's the thyme, rosemary, I have sticky fingers from that, but I can tell you it smells beautiful here right now. The sage, which I'm going to blitz down, the thyme, which I use for decorative food, and I'm just going to spread those out there. Getting lazy now. So I'll blitz that down. Can you smell them? So before I finish uh, the beans I'm working on, I just thought I'd show you. These are demi sec again. The dark ones are yellow bean. Not really meant for this. Um, all shapes and sizes. It doesn't bother me because of the foods I'm going to throw them in. Um, finishing off. I'll go out in the garden one more time. I just keep scanning and scanning and seeing where they're at and what I can pull for. Believe it or not, these are small looking, but these are, um, what's this one called? This is a Polish pea bean. So they're pretty much designed for this. And uh, yeah, they look good. We've got the beautiful, all different sizes. This is the Drew's Dandy. Love them. Definitely going to... Uh, be doing more of the Drew's Dandy. Um, and this is a French one. 
And I think that's the Polish P. Anywho, I'm going to get on with those. Here's what uh, these ones, they're out there drying right now, but some have uh, basically almost near fallen off. So I grabbed them before they do, and I just let those carry on to dry in the house, uh, as I did with these ones. So by no means is this my haul, but I'm just picking them in as I find them, I don't know, on the ground. I don't need the mice to get them. And then I'm just going to add the, um, the demi-sec to my existing ones for the freezer. So I'm slowly collecting those. Just thought I'd show you what I'm at this morning. What the joy these bring me. I know you can buy navy beans in a bag in the store for peanuts, but nothing beats this. I decided to also dump these out so I could clean the buckets up. Potatoes don't grow that big for me and uh, it's just I don't put great soil in probably in buckets. But anyway, more potatoes. Slowly seed saving of my peas. These are my purple peas, which have um, uh, dried on the stalk. I'll say goodbye, it's break time, always with food on my mind, so some of my lovely sage and onions, I'll make a French onion soup, and I'm boiling down some of my strawberries and my blueberries, and I'll put it on ice cream, because I want a treat. And I'll leave you with this chatty bunch who visited me while I was in the garden today. They were awfully noisy. <laughs>